Now Max here with HP Labs over here at Bomb Mechanics for a quick active recovery workout with Paulina. I'll introduce her real quick. Let's go inside and get it in. I got my Beyond BCAA. I'm gonna sip on it during the workout. Had some Oxy Shred in the morning on an empty stomach. I'm staying shredded year round. If you haven't tried Oxy Shred, visit our website www.ehplabs.com or ask for at any nearby retailer attack the stubborn fat cells with oxy the best thermogenic fat burner in the market how are you doing? How are you? How are you? Hey everybody this is Alina she's gonna guide us through a quick active recovery workout but first we're gonna get on the treadmill and uh, get our heart rate up get a little, a little warm up a little warm up before the action So what we're going to do today is a little active recovery of the body work. Nothing too crazy. We train all week, so we do a little light work today. We're going to do a little arms, back, shoulders, the normal. A little bit of everything. So this is just a basic bicep curl with a straight bar, cables. My arms are small right now. Don't make fun of them. Yeah, they look pretty good to me. So whole point in. Uh, really anything when you're working out is slow movements. You don't need to rush through them. You don't need to do this. This doesn't do anything. So you gotta go nice and slow, especially on that release. You can push down on the weight as you're releasing. Push down on the weight so as you release. So it gives you even better negatives. So if you have a training partner to help you do this. And then overhead here could be another one. So you want to make that all bicep. So close. Outside. Outside. There you go. There you go. It's different, right? Yeah, it is different. I'm just getting started. Okay. Reverse. Okay. Right. Okay. Right. How high do I go? All the way up. We need the top. We need the top. We need the top. Anytime you're doing a bicep curl, I always try to squeeze in the top. Let it down slow. Super tight with a little tricep. The cool thing about these is you can do them a couple of different ways. You can let it all the way down and hold at the bottom. That's a nice little teaser workout for your triceps to hold. And so when you extend at the bottom, focus on pulling the rope apart. So that can really work that tricep muscle. A little pulsing at the end will really bring out that muscle. So right in between, not all the way up, not all the way down, just stop right okay. there. Yep. There you go. Feel that burn? Uh, one of my favorites for shoulder building and your side laterals at the same time. That, that must be engaged in the core too because you like. Exactly. So you're working really a lot of upper body in this, in this exercise here. It could be a high rep exercise when so you're hitting 20. Straight out, straight front. Here. Oh, you're not messing around. I thought it was active recovery. Uh, we do 10 and 10. When you're done, go for it. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, guys, we do this. I'll start. So, you start one front, one side. And then one front. Get it out nice and smooth. Right to the side. A little coordination. Yeah, I'm like, I actually have to use my brain cells. It's okay. Right, so the arm nice and straight. Not bad. Chest is up, correct. Perfect arm. Okay, nice burn all the way through the shoulder. It's going to be nice and parallel to the floor. Arms are nice and parallel. Come out to a press. Those elbows parallel to the floor. The arms are parallel to the ground always. You don't want them to drop. You're just here. And then drop. This is crazy. Keep the weight nice and straight. Focus. Up straight, arms go up all the way straight, all the way straight, go all the way up, press, up, press, what is that? That's a half of the press, press all the way, straight arm, there you go. Those burn. I usually don't go all the way up because I have pretty strong triceps. triceps and, yeah, so I, I don't go all the way up to avoid using triceps, so it's like a regular person. A regular person, go all the way up, but the movement has to be customized to your body type. For this guy, <laughs> it looks like I'm cheating, but I'm not. Trust me. Since you already have dumbbells, this is 
is an easy one for rear delts. So we've already hit front, we've hit side. So rear delts is bent over here. So make sure on this one, back is flat. Chest is up, shoulders are down. Another one is weights are out. Go here like you're pouring coffee. Harder. Gotta be easy. This one's a harder variation. Harder variation, a little bit more advanced, a little bit more resistance because of the weight. Chest is up. Higher. Back is try not to rock it too much as you come up and get crazy. Nice and sit. Get that back and arm bring it up and back. There you go. Your bent over here. All the way back. Engaging those rear delts. Use that back. Yeah. Get my butt kicked. So on this one, form's tricky. Shoulders gotta stay down, elbows gotta stay wide. Focus on pulling the elbows apart so that you can use your back. Straight to the forehead. Can be a set of ten, let's just say. You're hitting your delts. Back. Your next one would be to the neck. Get a little bit different muscle group to the back. Chest stays up, shoulders stay down. And then you really hit those lats and back as you do that. Like three different variations. Can I get some? She's being greedy. <laughs> Got me on the floor. I don't do these at all. So four. Chest up. Chest up. I like to put one foot in front of the other. All the way to your forehead. So pull it apart. There you go. All the way back. Okay. Yep. Chest up forward. Uh, uh, that way, coach? Yeah, I'll keep your head back. You don't need to put your head in it. You just go here. And then straight to the neck here. Yep. Right here. Okay. Neck. Oh. Okay. okay, so uh, I don't do this exercise normally. It's great that Alina is here making me do them. I'm being challenged in a different way. I'm not going super heavy, still getting a great workout. So I challenge you to try new exercises because your body will adapt to the same ones. So this one's Four. even more challenging. You gotta pull all the way apart like you're pulling it around. Your so this one's really This feels really great. Yeah. All the awesome. way back to your rib cage. All the way back. Pull it apart, pull it apart. Focus on pulling it apart. There you go. Pull it apart, pull it apart. Stretch your rib cage. Keep that chest up, shoulders down. Form is very important on this one. Wow. Exercise. All right, you even hit your lats a little. That feels very effective. Elbows are flat down, eyes to the sky. So you're not doing this when you're doing crunches. That's so important when I teach my classes. I do that all the time. Okay. If people doing this. You don't, like it, it. It's not a neck exercise. Right. It's an ab exercise. So focus on rolling forward. Shoulders are rolling up and down because of your abs, not because of your neck. So we're riding some bicycles here. Hit those obliques. Oh yeah, Make like sure these. Yeah. Bicycles. Yeah, these feel great. Twist those obliques, ride into it, roll those shoulders on the mat. That's oh yeah, important. let's do this. Another one I like, leg lifts. Hands going to the booty. Here. So with leg lifts, feet are flexed towards you. So that means your toes are flexed towards you. The farther back you go towards you when you're lifting, the less work you're getting in your abs. Another one is, raise it all the way up. Let it down slow. Again, that negative release really burns out those abs. And then a lower leg lift here to burn out is nice too. You can't tell I really work out my abs. Sometimes I do. Feel nice and tight and pretty for our bikinis and bikini shorts. I gave him a bikini last week. He just won't put it on yet. <laughs> yeah, they don't have sizes that fit me. Simple bicep curls. Here. Slow release. I like to count three to four seconds on the way down. It gives it a nice burn, so you don't have to do as many reps. Are you getting a combination of toning and lean muscle building with these? Exactly. You can reverse it into some hammer curls. Important thing with hammer curls is don't do this. This doesn't do anything. I'm a big believer in strict form, why it works. 
so you're here. Squeeze the top. Looks like your endurance and stamina is pretty good. Uh, cardio. Cardio. I do a lot of stairmaster. Stairmaster. Most efficient way to burn a lot of calories. Stairmaster. In a shorter amount of time. Also work your legs, the booty, your glutes, the hamstrings, calves. So work all your legs. Um, I also incorporate bands sometimes. Okay. Uh, so I'll wrap around a band right around here, around my knees, and you walk. How long are your cardio sessions? 20, 30 minutes, about four to five days a week. That's about all I do. Um, that's a maintenance type of routine. Uh, if you're really trying to burn fat and lose weight, get yeah, cardio. Uh, especially if you're trying to lose weight here in your belly fat area. You need to really do cardio, make sure you're eating right. We talked about diet last time. Yes. It's so important. Um, Max and I were down in our chicken and our egg. <laughs> Eggs, egg whites, whatever it right is. Before right before we work out. Before we work out, make sure we're fueled. If you're not properly. fueled, you can't and train hard. getting anything out of your workout. So if you're going to work the gym at a, you know, on an empty stomach, it's not going to do anything for you. So eat. Eat. Do not sacrifice before, diet. Before, eat after, eat good food. No cheeseburgers, even though we love cheeseburgers. So you can have your cheat meals, <laughs> but just make sure you know you've got your priorities straight. What's next? Definitely One of my favorite back exercises is lat pull down. Hardest one of them all. And reverse. So again. healthy lifestyle every day today is freestyle like I said we train all week I just wanted to show you guys some uh, active recovery supersets you can incorporate at the end of the week thanks for joining us today